the camera straight. Okay. So, <clears throat> for those of you familiar with my page, this is an overview of where we're at now as far as what, uh, what I can show uh, I am learning. <laughs> And um, it's on a, as you can see, a lot of windows are opened up right now, but we're going to just go through everything piece by piece so I can better explain myself and then just move forward explaining things, but just defining them through skit because I like to talk more through humor. I don't really like to um, do the, the serious lecture side 24-7, but... I can because that's how it's reaching my head. Uh, but, you know, it, it's a lot more entertaining for all involved if I don't. So here we go. So my music, uh, as far as published songs, I have 93 songs out in the world of iTunes and Spotify, Tidal and all that other stuff. Um, I have these different characters and personalities uh, that I utilize and the two key ones that I perform under um, and publish under is Rasham VTP and Versatile the Prodigy. Uh, these sides are just representations of where my mind was at in certain areas of growth and development. And at this point, you know, now I'm just... Uh, I'm comfortable with operating with two key functions that rest in the same principle. So I don't like to do things. I don't like to do the biggest thing that would take the longest if I have something that is more of ease that can guide me through doing that bigger thing. You know what I mean? So what... I did with um, a lot of the versatile, the prodigy work is I, um, I rested on the crispiness of demos because I enjoyed the sound of demos, like, you know, skate park uh, uh, mixtape sounding, you know, like, like you're out in the world and it's coming from a, a 90s boom box. Um, but the element of theatrics um and and drama uh the genre of drama that i wanted to portray was um why i chose a lot of the sounds then and the way i'm choosing sounds now um it is uh it's just a a, a bit more functional for me to where i can you know I, I'll, I'll mainly make my own tracks at this point uh, my own instrumentals but yeah so that's the music and my music is you know just based on how I feel like you know it's it's what is in my mind what's going on in the world and you know what I've been through how do I feel about all of that what's been said to me and you know what do I agree with what do I you know not my cap next um oh, we're over here so I'm a dad you know, and my son's about to be two. It's great. You know, that life is, it's work, but it is definitely beautiful. And, and you see growth every day if you're putting in the work, if you're putting it in and paying attention. And, you know, everything is, is uh, blessed and lucky as it can be, you know, then and you, you, you get a lot of good results. Okay. Um... I'm a teacher. Um, I instruct kids on, you know, uh, the principles of reading, the principles of, you know, like learning things and um, trying to uh, get kids focused in, you know, building, creating and, and imagining something new or better for their own creation. For me, I speak in the terms of like books or video games because those are products and developments that they are, uh, every, you know, that they're very familiar with. The web page that I utilize is <clears throat> called versatilejournal.com. 
This is my um, web page through, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name right now. First touch, WordPress, WordPress. This is my WordPress web page on the landing side of it. Um, you will see uh, my group. These are my brothers. And we've been, you know, making music and learning music since we were like four years old. <clears throat> this is the beginning of uh, me drawing the characters from my comics. So I developed a lot of, um, I developed a lot of different ideas for stories and developments watching anime and playing um playing video games <clears throat> oh let me turn on my car um yeah watching anime playing video games um just learning about historical battles and and all of the above uh martial art movies all of those things played a, a huge role in me um, wanting to design my characters to fit, you know, my life and, and how things, you know, would have been in, in the world I grew up in, you know, Oakland from the 90s on, <laughs> uh, the middle of the 90s, 1996. I know, you know, people like their whole little battle about who was really 90s and whatever, you know. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, the Willow Tree Warriors are the group, the key group, and essentially each character has their own um, importance in why they are used to uh, tell the story as a, as a, they're all the main character, if that makes sense. You know, so if I didn't allow the story to be spread out like that, then it wouldn't feel as expansive. You just see the straight line through and, you know, it's like there are things that I skip because in the story, like people like to know the nitty gritty of people's lives and stuff, even if they're carrying. Okay, thank you for eating. I wasn't talking to them. At work. Copy that. So. Yeah, <laughs> So the, um, wow, the, uh, characters are very suited to, um, their own side of the story so that that way they bring each side together, um, on, but I want to make it a universe. So they're bringing together one world of the story and then I will add character and I already have the plan and it's already written down, but it will have characters that expand that universe and understand the story's beginning and what the end actually uh, means and entails for that universe of characters, this universe of characters. So, yeah, I did everything from stick figures to... Um, Stick figures to learning the shape and fold of characters and freehanding them myself, tracing them to see like the more direct, um, the more direct, uh, not necessarily professionalism because there are pieces of the way that I draw that I will never replace because of the way, you know, like I like certain curves and certain you know, um, loops or jabs with the pencil that just happened that you can, you know, trace because of the line that's left over. Like, those things are important to me. So, you know, AMVs start, inspired me when I was young, around nine years old. And you know, I've been performing since I was really young. I don't know, four or five. Um, yeah, I just, I like to show what I've been doing and how I've developed because I want you to know that you can do all of these things and more. It's it's not a limit to what you can do and the only thing limiting you is what you uh, 
um, are choosing to learn and listen to. And, you know, you have to test those things, certain things, you know, you, you test it by studying it rather than doing it because it's dangerous or, you know, you believe it to be right. Or someone else believes it to be and you haven't tested it. So maybe you should, you know, <laughs> uh, watch what happens when and you can type those things in for whatever your question is and you'll see uh the result in most cases you know as long as it's um not a a digital uh, uh rendering of something from a um, someone who hasn't actually learned the material so you wouldn't want to learn science from uh all cartoonists but if somebody, you know, did make a design and they said, this is what happens when a meteor would crash into Earth, then that's something like it, right? Um, it's the best that they can uh, uh, process based on the science that they know and the math that they have, right? Um, so, yeah, so these are my own studies. This is, you know, my own way to make a classroom. And that's, you know, why I um, do that. My brother in arms, Ibrahim Tyrannus Kong, um, it's the Jack Harrier. You know, you there, there are various uh, 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 illustrations and and developments from us, and in each stage, you know, they may have a different um, persona or alias attached to it because it is. Uh, an extension of our personality or an expansion of our personality. Um, yeah, yeah, so if you go into the blog section, you will find <coughs> the... Uh, so Rashan VTP, The Journey Begins, is about the books that I made, and I'll click on each one, but... Rashan VTP is a collection of my music and I have it placed to where you can see the published songs, the ones that you can purchase or stream first, and then you can listen to the demos. The reference is, you know, um, just a display of all of the, you know, different topics, a little bit of each, you know, from um, spiritual and religious studies to Okay, all three Copy that. Um, a display yeah, of even our own... Thank you, back so A display of even my own uh, background and, and how I grew up so that people, you know, understand that I'm not... I'm not in this to display something that I'm not. I don't like to portray... Uh, any character that I don't feel I can relate to. Um, but I also like to um, exper experiment with irony and, 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 you know, take on, like, you know, the bad guy role, like somebody who would be the exact opposite of my mindset. And, like, um, I played Governor Danforth in a play in um, The uh, Crucible, uh, for my high school, so he's he's the bad he's the the bad guy of the story, but his world was the way that it was, and so you know his lines are already set in stone. So I played that part, um, not with conviction, believing that I believed what he was talking about, but I understood exactly his position and sit and set up in the situation, and so I could play that part really well based on my understanding. Um, so for people who have, you know, trouble um, working with a team and not, you know, trying to fit in, just being themselves and, and, and fitting in because they, you know, are themselves working with the team, then, you know, I'll just display certain things that, you know, may uh, help people through the road, you know, ways, um, you know, the concept of ego death, letting, uh, uh, understand that sometimes we can be wrong or sometimes we have to understand that even though we are technically right in a situation, it's not necessarily um, the way that it should be done in the situation you're dealing with. Uh, those things are, you know, they're, they're not 
they're not the easiest thing to just come up with and utilize uh, uh, directly without some type of guide. And because, you know, my, my, you know, life has just been full of guideposts to lead me to be able to say this, I'm saying it. Um, yeah, so then the game and script, it's, these are the concepts, um, like, you know, like how the reference is, what I talk about, the, the, uh, big script is, you know, my overall focus, um, to feel like, you know, enough to fill like 300 pages, like a book, ver- uh, books worth of my overall focus. So that people understand I am um, intentionally uh, uh, focused on trying to bring us to all of these uh, uh, different useful realms. Like people who believe that using technology is the problem. No, it's how we use technology. But video games are the same way. Using video games is not the issue. It's how we use the video games. It's what games we use. You know, Grand Theft Auto, uh, if you're just free roaming, it doesn't actually start you out as a criminal. It's about what you do in the game. And sometimes, you know, doing that and experimenting with the, the physics in the game is, you know, something that that is uh, um, relieving in the sense that, you know, you don't have to focus on... Uh, you, you don't really have to mince words or question what will happen in that situation. But also, you know, you're just having fun with your video game. Doing that stuff in real life, you know, it, it can, it adversely is, is um, attached, you know, because you understand I wouldn't want to do that in real life, right? You know, same with Call of Duty. But, you know, some people, military and their beliefs and all those things that that's not my issue. And so I don't really, you know, it's not my place. I'm not here to protest or, um, directly protest or, um, advocate for the military. I'm here to, you know, uh, teach people or share with people how they can teach themselves and see like, you know, uh, their emotions in certain circumstances that we have on a technological basis. Um, we're jam packed with, uh, a lot of different books, but we don't know how to separate them into genres because it's just pick the genre you like, or we're focusing on this subject, but it's not really a, a big guide on these are the subjects, right? And because of that, we don't, uh, know how to have full manipulation of the world in a good way, control of our own, uh, the development of our own path and not just control of ourselves in that path. And those things both need to be grown and developed. You don't just start off with it being good. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are, you know, different games that I are game sites that I grew up with back in the, well, you can read it. If you ever want to play the computer games of the early 2000s, click the links below. These uh, sites are really fun as long as they're up. I mean, I hope you can still play them. Um, Yeah, and then I also make video game videos. I like just making things move to music. Um, And I like playing video games and showing people my matches. Not all of these I win in, but... It's really about the fun and the adventure. Like you see the adventure. When I add the commentary, you'll you'll understand what's going through my mind and what I see on screen because I'm, you know, not always necessarily looking for what my character uh, can do or, you know, what what is going to happen with my character as much as I'm like, where is this game taking me, right, mentally? So I can have a little fun with my mind and think outside of the box. Um, yeah, my YouTube, so this will probably be where this, uh, video ends up at, but my YouTube is, um, basically where I started my, my, um, trajectory (laughs) for the development of 
all of these uh, uh, videos and games and stuff. Like, I didn't really know that there was a, a way um, to be able to do that and not have access to um, profession, you know, to professional gear and stuff like that. And so in the hopes, you know, uh, you know, I develop these videos and things so that people can see, like, you know, I'm, I'm one worth investing in, I'm, you know, a business that can, you know, uh, raise the height of businesses if I can uh, receive the support to get to that level. And, you know, it takes, you know, it's a little give and take, but the thing is, is growing a new artist, especially within all of these fields, like each of these fields can be multi-million dollar fields and that's what I'm shooting for. But at this point, like my mind has always ran to, to one day try to develop these things. I didn't know if I could, but one day try to. Now I'm at the point where I just need to get it to, to the level of, you know, sometimes I use, you know, video snippets for my gameplay or um, videos that come across. But like for me to be able to get to that level, I can get to that level just so I can get to the level physically to be, you know, where I believe I can make it to. And I believe I can make it into the boxing ring, like for real, like, you know, like, and um, in experiencing that, I want to see, you know, if I am still willing to walk into an MMA ring. And for me, if I am able to do both of those things and achieve both of those things, outside of my art and my, my multimedia business being um, at its height, then I will also, you know, I'll, I'll feel complete. Like, you know what I mean? Like that part of, I'll feel like I can produce generational wealth easily. But with the boxing and the MMA, like then I'll feel complete. Like I can just, that's me, you know, it's, it's both sides. It's not just one. Um, I'm always, you know, thinking about different subjects and just how to communicate on a cope aesthetic level, just being relaxed and chill and, you know, talking about what's on your mind as a, as a human being, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my YouTube, that's where you'll find this video and stuff like that. R-A-U-S-H-O-N-C-H-A-P-M-A-N. That is my name, Rashan Chapman. So if you go to Barnes and Noble and you type that in, then you'll find four different books or eight different books. Sorry. Um, don't allow. Exit. And maximize. Okay. So <clears throat> you find these um, sections of my overall story, it's called My Journey to the Finish Line. Um, and they are the ones with the, you know, the cartoony uh, covers um, representing, you know, the, the phases of life that each of these characters are going through. There is a lot of them. And let's just click right here because this has the most characters on the front so you can see there's a lot of characters there's a lot of story um it's a guidepost for what will happen in a sense but at the same time uh i just wanted it to you know be a be the shape and not necessarily the full form of the story so i'm going to do another uh decorative um poster <laughs> like this but with where i'm at now but i still really like this this front picture this is volume one so this is everything that you know i can say without giving away the story uh in a picture yeah twenty dollars uh purchase it it is, you know, it'll always be up. I'll, um, well, you know, if you uh, want to wait for the second edition, um, where I add, you know, some newer pictures and, um, you know, alter a, a few, few commas here and there, you know, it'll, uh, be 
certain pieces, you know, that, that you get a, a certain frame that I wanted people to look at from the first edition. Um, but I also saw that, you know, there's a, a better way to state all of the stuff. So, you know, there are certain things that are altered a bit, but that doesn't mean the first edition side of it didn't happen as well, you know? All right, and that's all of those sections. I'm not really sure how far we are in time, but um, I can say we discussed teaching. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've shown and proven that I'm an instructor. Um, book development, <clears throat> um, shown and proved that I'm an author. So let's cross those out. Show development, um, uh, Illustrator. Okay, so we haven't talked about game design, but we've talked about web page landing sites, right? Um, we've talked about music development, uh, and I've talked about poetry and performing. All right, all right. So then, all of that is is in itself done. So then, the game design portion. I've been working on um, to start. I was like, okay, I need to learn the basics to making a level, right? Because that's, you know, games, you have to be a character on a level. I drew characters, but they're not yet 3D designed. So first I was like, all right, how do I make a level? And second, how do I make the characters move, right? How move the way that to the, how do I apply the buttons to the characters, right? So I want them to do what I want the game to do, but I'm using a 3D mannequin instead of my own characters. So <clears throat> I'm just putting in the function and not yet the uh, the full flair of how the game is supposed to run. So, you know, here's what we got. We're at the still like day 10, like day 10 in the Unreal Engine, back in Unreal Engine. And um, this is, you know, I've been watching videos over and over again, just trying to get everything right. I can make the person jump. I can make him double jump. I can make him crouch. And I can move him with the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. So we're going to watch a little movement here. Uh, I made a design for the world, and I'll just kind of talk you all through that as I um, play through one good time. So, you know, again, very beginning, I have the layout for this world. There we go. I have the layout for this world, but it's like this little anti-gravity type thing that's happening because if I hit the top of one of these bubbles here, I have one or two jumps left, so I got to be patient but if I hit the top of these bubbles here I can knock myself downward um, and that'll allow me ah, I did it wrong no maybe not maybe not no go down ah, oh. all right so yeah let's talk about all these things in the sky while we're floating up and then I restart it um, these are different portals to different worlds in the story so you'll be able to, um, you know, cross into different lands and you'll walk through like each character side of the story. Um, this way, you know, I can incorporate uh, separate story characters in a tight end uh, story mode. And um, at the same time, over there where the grass planets are, um, those are two sides of a uh, game. So the right side is the first game, the left side of five is the second game. And these two games, basically there'll be four players. You can play four player mode um, where basically you'll be doing a fighting game at the same time. You can end up in the same sandbox for certain uh, parts of the game. And for other parts, you know, you each go on your each your own individual uh, story fight or story quest. Um, but you're supposed to, you know, finish the story on screen with each other, watch your cutscenes together, and then reconvene, uh, 
reconvene, re meet up <laughs> when you meet up with each other. And then at the very end, once you beat the game, you will be able to do this middle zone here, which is the fifth. It's called um, New Game Plus. And so basically, uh, you know, if you've never played a game with New Game Plus, you are going to... Um, you are going to... Sorry. You're just going to play the game over again, but from a different perspective of the story. So it's the same uh, arc of fighting with additional um, difficulties and twists because you'll be, you know, a different character if they ran into that, you know, scenario of the story. Um, and I, I hope to make it, you know, really fun <laughs> at this point with floating and... And we must exit, but dang, they will not let me exit. Okay. Boom. We're floating, and uh, now we're not. Alright. So, you know, right now, all it is is just a, a bunch of objects that are placed on to, you know, or above a landscape. And I press the landscape down and out so that that way um, there are different crevices so it's like mountains are around them. Um, it's uh, for, you know, people who uh, haven't uh, dealt with video game design and stuff, I can see how it's how it can be um, a bit. Oh, there we go. Now we're going down. I can see how uh, the concept can be a bit overwhelming, but while it is a lot of math, it is um, creative math in a sense because you can just uh, you can just play the game. You know, you just you play, you, you, but <laughs> metaphorically speaking, the same way you know people say play the game of life. You know, you play the game of game development. So. You see uh, what it is you want to do. You ask how to make your game do that. Um, for what you can find out, you use that. You, you try to find out the basics first. So how to set up um, a game design menu. You, uh, you'll see around there's all of these different... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll see around on the screen... There are all of these different sections, and uh, you know we can make it uh, smaller, bigger. Here, so those little sections are menus, so that you can, like right here, you can see all of the different items 